Hey guys, uh, this is Adrian from Real RC Reviews, and it's early as fuck o'clock, but I want to get this thing flown and uh, get this review posted before um, you know before I have to get busy at work and all that stuff. But um, I know I'm late to the game with this plane that came out uh, probably six months ago now, um, and it'll be my first review back in about five or six months. So sorry for the lack of content, but. Um, I think you know everything there is to know about this plane. Uh, aluminum um, landing gear goes on six cell. I'll be using a, a Hobbystar batteries 3500 6S from uh, RC Juice. Um, I definitely recommend RC Juice for your batteries. Um, what else is there to know? Not a whole bunch. Uh, these will be my first couple of flights. And no, I'm not going to do any, you know, high alpha or any crazy crap like that. I think you guys have seen enough of that at this point. Um, this is just me and my mediocre flying skills. And I will be, I guess, telling you whether or not this is a good idea for uh, your first EDF or your third or if you should buy this at all. Um, my field is the grass runway, so I'll be testing the grass capabilities. So, um, anyway, let's get it on. Okay, my canopy wasn't secured, so let's try this again. All right, well that took way longer of a runway to get going and I ended up cutting throttle and I broke the nose off and bent the gear, so I'm determined though. Let's get this thing up. Sorry if you can't see it, it's a little high. I'll bring it down a little bit. These are very docile rates. This is even the high rates um, from the manual. I haven't adjusted any of the linkages or anything, so it's um kind of looks ridiculous with that nose cone broken off, but oh well. At least the CG's right, and, and it flies fine. It just took forever to get up out into the air. Let's see how slow it can go with that. I do a speed pass.
Sith planning this thing's all about. Looks like it can fly pretty slow. Oh, that came down at least. Let's take it out. Okay, this feels ridiculous. I'm starting way at the end of the field because it's taking forever to get up into the air. Um, don't recall the flight videos from Horizon or anybody else's taking that long, but there you have it. Um, so from my perspective, at this moment, I'm gonna not recommend it for grass fields. So let's, let's get her going. Okay, that was better. I don't know if it's going as fast as it looks like it's going, but it looks like it's going fast. Let's do a multi-roll. Oops, got a little away from myself on that one. Sorry if you can't see it, but. See how it does inverted. Actually, feels like it's too far. It doesn't drop much altitude on the uh, banked turns. Fair amount of down elevator to, uh, to make the turn, I mean, to uh, keep inverted. Sorry, I'm flying again. I'm sorry for flying so far away from myself, but I need to adjust the throws to give a little bit more. Um, you know, give it a little bit more response. I flew for three minutes last time and it came down with a, with a, I flew for three minutes and it came down with 30%. Uh, I almost landed with the gear up, so let's try that again.
and my guy ejected again. That canopy does not like to stay on, so that's another thing. <laughs> Okay, well, here I am with my wrap-up. Um, not sure exactly what was going on there. My rollout was taking forever. On this second flight, I, um, I waited a little bit longer to give it elevator and uh, seemed to get in the air a little bit quicker. Um, this was the result of the first failed takeoff. It finally took off at the end of the field. Um, I'll consider throwing in that part of the video and um, at the very end of the field it, it finally got up but I didn't want to slam into the trees or bushes so I cut the throttle and I thought I got it back on its three uh, wheels but I guess not. So this was the resulting damage um, which kind of sucks but the good thing is these things cost seven dollars I think. So I also bent my my front gear, but I um, bent it back and it seems to be going into the slot. No issue with taxiing or anything like that. So <clears throat> I don't know. My this is the shortest my field usually is, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and attribute the length of this takeoff to the grass. Um, so I don't know. I. I I think if you're going to fly off a grass field, you might want to get something with beefier landing gear. The Viper handles grass, but it's got the wire um, landing gear, so those do bend also. So I think the next thing I will try is the free wing of Anti, because I hear that's like the bush plane of EDFs. Um, so I don't know. Once this is in the air, it flies great. I mean, I, next flight I will probably adjust the linkages to give it more throw. but as it is like this, it feels awesome. Um, the AS3X helps it track nice and uh, nice and clean. Um, and the, you know, as you see the, the uh, landing, it uh, glides really well. Um, but give yourself some decent runway because it does come in kind of quick at first. But uh, I, I, for the price and everything, I would recommend it if you have a large field and short either really really short grass or pavement or something that's easier to roll on um, these struts are aluminum and they have shock absorbers but they're a little stiff so I don't know how much that actually helps um, so I am going to recommend this plane with some reservations um, to those guys that want to use a grass field if you have any um, input uh, Go ahead and put that in the comments. Um, like I said, I think my second rollout, I waited a little bit longer for the elevator, so I might have been able to get more speed that way and get into the air quicker. But uh, I am going to move on from this and get something uh, beefier. So uh, I think you will like it if you do get it. It does fly really well and it's got a it's a good price. So. This is the first of a lot more reviews to come, so take care guys.